before I ever had any kind of chronic condition was back probably in like 2013, so 10 years ago. I had two young kids in 2013 and was also running a full-time business. And I was, I was very kind of overwhelmed, to be honest. Like I was healthy, but I was working way too hard and stressed. And then I got bit by a tick. Um, and I kind of didn't think twice about that. I called the hospital and they were like, no sweat. If you get a bullseye rash, call us back. So I didn't, I didn't worry about it. I threw the tick away. So anyway, my symptoms were, you know, weird, cognitive issues, fatigue, repetitive respiratory infections, strange rashes, just bizarre experiences that didn't seem to fit you know, heart issues, arrhythmia, and, and then increasing anxiety. I did find a Lyme specialist here in San Francisco who diagnosed me with Lyme disease and began a variety of different treatments, all of which were, were helpful. Um, and actually, I did a different brain retraining program because of him as well, which was also helpful. Um, and that all started in 2017 slash 2018. Um, and so my symptoms improved to the point where I was able to work half time, not full time. I had to be very mindful of my energy, very mindful of what I ate, was taking a lot of herbs and supplements. But unfortunately, during the pandemic, I started teaching Pilates outside in my back patio. And that went great until it summer hit in San Francisco. And it's just extremely foggy and wet here in the summer. And Summer 2021, nobody was wearing masks anymore because we all got vaccinated. Um, and it turned out there was mold back there in the backyard. So in the summer of 2021, I got very sick again, and it felt like I was having a Lyme relapse. Like pretty much all of the old symptoms of Lyme came back and I was so confused. I had no idea what was going on. Any little tiny minor exposure to mold would send my body into a little fit of symptoms. Um, so two years pass, I tried literally everything under the sun in terms of like functional medicine, mold treatment, binders, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff you're supposed to take for mold, none of it did a single thing at all. I still just had to, the only thing that worked was avoidance and that got worse and worse. And that was really weird. Like, why isn't this just getting better? Why isn't my body just resolving this? I'd heard about the Gupta program and I knew I needed something new, right? Like I wasn't gonna do that same old burner training that I had done before I needed to kind of shake things up. So I was like, what do I have to lose? I'm just gonna go for it. And that was in May of this past year, 2023. And I mean, I was a hot mess, I have to say. <clears throat> My symptoms were violent, like they literally felt life-threatening. And I went up to Healdsburg where we have a little cabin in the middle of nowhere. And I started the Gupta program by myself in the woods and um after two weeks the fog didn't bother me at all after a month new ish buildings didn't bother me at all by september almost nothing bothered me at all and now i feel like i've gotten a new perspective on my whole internal environment like i would say that at least 85% of the symptoms that I always called Lyme disease are not Lyme disease. They are just the condition, right? They're just my nervous system having felt extremely threatened back at the time when I was bitten by a tick. I'm not saying Lyme's not a thing, like it's obviously a thing. And it obviously contributed to my nervous system feeling so under siege. Um, but all of these symptoms, 85% of what I have been experiencing on and off to a lesser and greater degree for the last 10 years is just my nervous system telling me that I need to listen. So now I'm really kind of curious as to what's going to happen over the next year or so <laughs> with my health. And I feel like the Gupta program has been truly miraculous like a window into a different way of seeing my own healing process.